I'll share what <laughs> So how does it feel like seeing Brian basically like demolish this person? Uh, a big surprise, you know, because last time they went uh, in the it was split decision, and this time they went one round, it's a lot better this way. So it's, uh, it's how I like fights. I think every fight should end in a knockout, and uh, Brian did that for me. I told him about him. Well, the last thing I said to him after to leave the dressing room, I said, go to the body right away. I said, this guy's a little soft. So he, he did, and uh, it worked well. Were you as surprised as you were like uh, when Brian first won the, won the world title and he knocked the guy out like in the first round similarly? Well, that was a long time ago and so forth, and you know, a, lot, a lot of years gone by, and you win in two or five weeks, and people don't expect Brian to be quite that guy anymore, you know? But he, um, he is. He's still that guy that can punch and body, great body puncher, and I was very happy with him. Is there anything like, um, like with Chocolatito? What do you think? What do you think? The, well, not the strategy, but that's a very, very hard fight. Well, you know, the thing is, uh, you want to be the best in, in boxing, and there's no reason to stay if you can't be the best. So he's going for it again, and he's fighting a real, really good fighter, solid guy. Um, someone we have to really, really. Yeah, really steady, watch a lot of things yeah. and come up with a great game plan for him. Brian's very good game plans and um, you know, trying to he's, um, he's, he's trying and so forth. He came to my gym and uh, wanted me to train him and I had to turn him down because I was so busy. And um, I regretted that for a little while, but now this happens, I have no more regrets. I made the right move, I guess. So in some ways, is this like a, because I was talking to Brian, I said, you know, not many people get second chances, just in terms of, like, this is another chance for him if he wins, like, he'll, you know, be like a supernova. Is this kind of like a second chance in some ways for you, too, with him? Not really. The only thing is, um, I just, um, I was kind of disappointed that I couldn't help the kid, you know, because I wanted to help him, and I like to help fighters, all fighters if I can, but sometimes it just gets too busy and so forth. So then, you know, but helping Brian in the gym and so forth has been really good, and I know Brian, talk, when I talk to Brian, it's different between him and us, because me and him have a, we have a much better rapport with each other. We understand each other, right? and we, we work very well together. Every time we uh, the guy is home, he wins by knockout, so it's, that's what I like. So you guys have a unique rapport? I think so. Uh -huh. Is that because, like also, he's one of the first fighters that you've uh, like trained really from the beginning. Yeah, I mean, um, Brian and uh, Rizzo Hill, the first guys I've had from amateur to world titles, and uh, it, 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 there's something special about that. I mean, usually it takes four or five years for fighters to develop into that level, and then Rizzo and Henry, it's a lot shorter. Um, just because we have um, a connection there somewhere. I'm not sure exactly what it's like. I'm not a spiritual person or nothing like that, so I'm not going to say that, but um, we hear for a long time. I trust my judgment very well. All right, thank you very much.